Hey, what's up, y'all? It's RC Poetic Soul coming back at you guys again. And um, I want to ask you guys to please like this video. Please watch this video all the way through if you can. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just like, learn, evolve, and grow with me. And if you're a YouTuber, um, I love to watch your channel. So please comment in the comment section below. So um, now that the smoke has cleared and all of the, um, the people have gotten out of the way, because I'm going to get right to it this video, and welcome back to myself and to you. It's been a while. I haven't been recording at the same clip I have previously, um, but I got a lot of videos, so never fear. Check the archives. Lots of tons of videos on here, guys, but um, on my channel. Anyway, now that the smoke is cleared, uh, it's been like it's been like two months since uh, Nipsey Hussle was passed, and um, I only got one video on out of like my whole 9,900 videos talking about Nipsey Hussle, and that came about a week or two after he died. Um, a lot of people was uh, I don't I forget the terminology, but fishing, um, looking for something, um, trying to get views basically off his name. Not everybody. Hell no. But a lot of people were um, doing that. And a lot of people was recording videos. A lot of people were doing all these different kinds of, uh, uh, you know, video, um, you know, just making stuff, talking about Nipsey Hussle, um, you know, in a good light, positive light, all kind of light. And my thing is, you know, it's all fine. But here's the point. Now that the smoke is clear for me, and I'm only speaking for me, um, looking back, and just just seeing what kind of person he was, who he was, what he stood for, um, how he rewarded his community, um, his backstory, where he came from, the hardships he went through, um, the legacy that he um, built day by day, pounding concrete, um, just amazing, just a real throwback gentleman, and every sense of the word um, came up hard, um, but also. Uh, seeing some of the finer things of life, um, seeing different continents, just, you know, he was inspired by so many different people, and as I, as I think about Nipsey, because when, when he, when he passed, um, that's the last time I, um, probably almost broke down, um, I just, I just wonder why stuff continues to happen to some of the uh, best people on the planet, and why they demise is, um, you know, so unfortunate and so tragic and just so shocking. And like, why does it occur? And I'm not going to get into why, when, how. I think everybody pretty much play armchair cop with that. Um, but, you know, I just I just want to uh, just have a moment of silence just for like a couple of seconds, guys. Um, just let Nipsey know that we still uh, care. We still believe in uh, what he set forward uh, and try to change in the community. Just a moment of silence to just embrace a, a person, the, le uh, the legacy this man left and that he built. You know, um, just a moment. So just bear with me for a second. So. That was just a moment of silence for Nipsey Hussle. We, we, we miss you uh, every day. Your music, um, what you stood for, the foundation that you set. And um, it's just, it, it, it troubles me a lot because um, when you see uh, somebody who, who just cares uh, about his community and um, he just wiped out like that, wiped out like that, you just, uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just hard to deal with. And, um, Unfortunately, it's becoming too much part of life. Um, just I keep looking at the rap industry, and I keep thinking and hoping and wishing somebody would step forward and pick up the baton that he left. And I don't think that person in the rap industry is probably going to be the person to pick up the baton. I think it's probably going to be the community of anyone. It's going to be a, a person or two or three or four, somebody, because these rappers right now, Seems to me like they content to just make music. Tupac showed that music is only half of it. You, it's it's a lot of people who look up to you, 
and need your help from a standpoint of they kind of need guidance. I wouldn't say help. They need direction um, to be shown because a lot of people don't have um, the hope that they can do it out here, that they can be successful. Um, what do I wish? I wish that maybe Nip had been a little bit more reserved and and um, and had uh, you know made some moves in silence or kept him on the low. But you know he was a proud man and um, he wanted to show what he was doing. And in a perfect world, there should be nothing wrong with that. But when you when you got so many haters, and sometimes you just don't know where they're coming from. You don't know where they might come from. They just come up out the ground, you know, straight up through the cracks. But you, you can't see all of them. You just see one or two. And so, you know, I get it. It's that old damned if you do, damned if you don't thing. But sometimes, sometimes you got to be willing to live for something, die for something. You don't have nothing to live for, find something to die for. You know, I, I don't know where Tupac got that from, but I got that from him. From his 1993 album, Strictly for My, you know what? Um, but the thing is, guys, um, I just sit here and I just think um, sometimes about Nipsey, and I can't even listen to that higher song because that's when the death threats was pouring in about them trying to take Nipsey's life, and you know I just don't want to listen to that song knowing that you know that's kind of where the demise may have began, and also it could be his, it is his last video. Um, to us, and it and um it, it could be his last song. I mean, if they release something with him, uh, you know, recorded after death, then they got new people to probably mix it, produce it, probably features he wouldn't agree with. Um, so you know, if you hear some posthumous work by Nipsey, then I mean, that's that's not exactly what you know he would have probably given us, but you know getting a little sidetracked, but the thing is, you know, I just want to, I just want to uh, embrace the man, uh, legendary status that unfortunately he, he seemed to, outside of his area, reach after his death. Um, those in uh, California, you know, Los Angeles, know very much how, um, how uh, revered and respected Nipsey is. Um, and also throughout the globe, but I don't think he was respected enough as a legend until after he died it would have been nice to have given him his uh flowers while he was alive um and that's unfortunate too but you know he made a hell of a mark victory lap is such an incredible album um if not classic borderline but i feel like it is um it's just so unfortunate because he was one of the not only was he one of the, the best rappers we had to offer but he was one of the best um human beings that we had and you know I just feel like I just feel like sometimes the demons don't want to give the angels any room to shed any light at all, and you know that's the times that we live in. Um, everything is you doing good. Somebody or someone or somewhere, somebody, someone, somebody, someone, somewhere is gonna snuff you out if you're doing too much good. See, there's a difference between doing good for you. And then doing good for for freaking five hundred, a thousand, two thousand people coming up behind you in your community, and you're reaching the youth, and people know that if they destroy the the minds of the youth, then they got control. So, um, it's just unfortunate that Nipsey's gone. But I did want to record this video to put my true. 110% uh, uh, perspective on how I feel about Nipsey and I just you know it's just it's, it saddens me because he was more than just a rapper and the same goes for Tupac and um, this one hurt on the level like left eye because you never know what they could have been Nipsey was just getting started you know left eye was just about to embark on her solo career and she got a uh, you know washed out so you know it's tough but um i want to thank you guys for watching this uh video um very emotional still because i like i said i miss nip so much and um uh, for almost a month and a half i didn't even want to listen to hip-hop it was just difficult um 
trying to get back into it is still difficult in some regards. Um, you know, I think these rappers should take more responsibility if you ask me and what they say and what they portray, but that's just me. So thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and share it with your friends. I'm gone. Peace out.